Hello, in today's video, I want to show you how we go ahead and ship out our hats. Here I have the 886, I have the 996, 1086, 1686, and the 8824. And we'll see how many hats fit in each of these boxes. Now this one here, this is our most popular, this is the 886. Alright, so the reason why this hat here is very popular is because this one here easily fits one hat okay perfect look at that okay it perfectly fits of course we bag it up we put it in a bag our hats we don't just put it here just because it'll collect dust in here so we want to make sure we protect the hat so anytime you're shipping hats what you want to avoid you want to avoid when you close it is to smash the hat okay so here we're not smashing it and since we know our boxes are getting tossed around at the post office, okay, we know it's secured right here. Big reason why this box is so popular is because weight wise, you can have two hats and still be under one pound. So if you're under one pound, you could ship it first class mail. So it's cheaper if you, if you ship it first class, which is under one pound, you're able to save a couple bucks. Now, if you wanna go three hats or four, Okay, that's when we take out the 996. Okay, but here we can fit one, two, three, four. All right, let's see. Okay, easily fits four hats here. Okay, and then if you put it at an angle, okay, if you angle it up a bit, you could probably fit five. Okay. very easy here so I would highly recommend to bag up your hats so we got them here okay you always want to bag them up because believe it or not when they're being shipped out they can collect dust in the boxes all right and also all right it just shows the customer right it just shows the customer that we are serious about shipping Okay. It just looks professional. And one thing that I would recommend is make sure you use strong industrial tape. Okay, so this here. All right, so this here, you could buy these by the rolls. This one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. This tape here just keeps your box nice and secure because when your customer opens it, you want them to open up a nice, fresh set of hats. Here we have the 1086, so very similar. Let's do these fitted ones. Okay, so we have three, four, five. Okay, so let's count this. All right, so this flat bill, five perfect ones. All right, and we got the spacing here. So now that we're going into the higher quantities, okay. So right here, this is 12. Okay, this is a dozen. All right, we're looking at it fits a dozen nice and perfect. All right, we still have some space. You could probably add, okay, we can probably add two more hats in here. All right, so right now we got 14 hats in here. Okay, these 12, they're dad hats, so they might be made a little smaller. I would say you're good from 12 to maybe 16 hats on this one here. Okay, main thing is when you close it, okay, you want this to be nice and flat up here. You don't want your hats to get smashed down. So this is the 1686, all right. Perfect for your dozen hats, dozen plus. So this one here, this is the 2488. And this one here, of course, to ship out the higher quantity, but it plays a big role because we could store our hats in these boxes and then it's easily accessible. All right, so this one here, these are for your high quantity hats. All right, so of course, easily, we got 12 in here. All right, and then we put another 12, okay? So you got a full dozen easily in here. All right, so let's see. All right, and we close them. Okay, we got enough space on top so they're not getting smashed. 
So this one here, I'm just going to mark it as black dad hats. So when I store it, easily accessible. So let me give you my, my three biggest recommendations when you're shipping out hats. Of course, number one is always bag them up. So I highly recommend, okay, grab your hat bag. Another suggestion that I have is make sure you use industrial strong strength tape. The last thing you want is for your boxes to open up and everything being all smashed up because especially during the holiday season, these boxes, they get beat up. Third recommendation that I have is do not smash your hats in a box just to try to make it fit. Okay, make sure you're using the proper sizing. Okay, you always want to make sure. Okay, you always want to make sure you at least have an eight inch box going wide. Going from top to bottom, you could buy a single box, uh, 885, that allows for one hat. And then the distance here, okay, now that all changes, all right? That changes. At the very minimum, you wanna be at a 88 as a base, all right? So that's my third one. So it's bag it up, tape it up, and don't smash your hats. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace out.